If you don't want to spend a thousand dollars to stabilize your videos, come with me. First, click here at this color tab. Now, click here at tracker. And now, at this stabilizer. In my case here, it is already selected. Now, set the strain to the highest value, in this case 1. Be sure to leave the zoom enabled. If not, it will simply copy your video and fill it with blank information. The camera lock here is also useful, but give it too much artificial feeling, so I don't like to enable it. Here, this perspective mode is enough to fulfill most of your needs. Now, here in smooth, you can change the values in order to make the video more static when moving or more smoother, depending if you want more or less stable. I'll leave it to 1. Now, click here as stabilize and wait for the results to come. This method is great when you don't have anything moving on the scene. But let's go to this other scenario of which there are static buildings in the back, but the cars are moving. And do not forget to bring your video to the beginning before you start making the stabilization. In this case, select here these three dots and go for Classic Stabilizer. Now, click here at Interactive Mode and then on Insert. Now, select the area that there are moving objects on the scene. I'm going to select this area here of the road that the cars are passing by. And now, click here at Delete. Now, as I said, I like to add a little bit of motion, so let it in the one value. And then, click here at Track Forward. Be careful to make this section of your video and this tracking when your video is at the beginning for the best result. Now, just click here at Stabilize. And you already can see the improvement. Those are the results.